This is everything that I've wanted for so long. Hello everyone and welcome to Happily Ever Reality. Today we are talking about Christine and David part two. So this is the episode where they actually go and get married. Part one was just focused on the build up to the wedding and this episode is all about the actual wedding ceremony and celebration. The first 12 minutes of this episode are focused on the wedding itself. The show starts off with us seeing Christine get her wedding dress on. Her daughters are there and they help zip up the back of the dress. And then it sort of quickly moves over to the wedding ceremony itself. We watch them walk down. Um, it's not a traditional aisle. The wedding is held outside. If you haven't seen the episode yet, you guys, you need to watch it. I'm not going to do any of it justice. It was at a, The wedding was at a really beautiful location. It was outside. You could see like these canyons behind them. They're in Utah and it's just gorgeous there. And yeah, it was just a beautiful wedding. It looked like it, the weather was wonderful. It just couldn't have went any better from at least what we're seeing on the show. So they all walk down this aisle. They're outside. Peyton starts out with Christine. So he's the one walking her down like this grassy incline. And then they turn and they, you know, they're walking between the chairs, like the, the aisle portion. But he meets Rex, which is his grandfather and Christine's dad. And Rex takes her the rest of the way. And it was just really sweet. I actually thought it worked out better than just having Rex walk her down himself. I thought it was really nice that Peyton did part of it and then her dad and then David walked down the steps to meet Rex and Christine and I just thought that all went even better than just having her dad do it alone. I thought it was a really really nice moment for all of them to meet there. So this isn't some sort of drama filled episode where there's a lot to say. You know the first 12 minutes were this wedding ceremony. There's a few things I'm going to point out but you know I'm sure most of you noticed them as well. Um, First of all Corbin, David's son-in-law officiated the wedding. I thought it was really nice. It's always nice when it's the of someone who knows the couple well. So what they're saying is really you know personal to them. So I thought Corbin did great. Um, Truly, I don't know if you guys noticed this, but Truly was wearing like a one piece pants outfit, a romper maybe. It looked like it was all one piece. Um, But I just thought, you know, here's the thing about Christine. This was her moment to have her wedding her way. She could have been a bridezilla. But you know what? Christine wasn't. She clearly goes with the flow. Each of the girls were wearing different outfits. Um... Truly had her hair purple at the bottom. I'm sh- I'm going to have a photo up there so you can see. But it's clear that even though this was her moment to get the wedding she wanted, she was still Christine. She still let her kids do what they wanted. She wanted them to be happy. She was easygoing about it. And I just thought it was nice to see Truly wearing something I think she probably felt very comfortable in. So I just wanted to point that out. I'm sure you guys noticed it as well, though. And also... When Truly is up there, Truly is bringing the rings to Christine and David while they're standing at the altar. I want to put in a clip of what she says because I thought it was really sweet. Here it is so you guys can hear it. Thank you. You deserve the best, Mother. Thank you. So I just thought that moment was really sweet. And I also wanted to point out, if you go back and you watch this episode... That is the sentiment from Christine's kids and Janelle's kids as well. You know, Christine deserves this. They want their mom happy. She deserves to be loved. And I think that really comes from the fact that for so long, she wasn't getting what she deserved. She wasn't getting the relationship and love that she wanted. And now she finally is. And I think we're hearing that so much from the kids because they know how Cody treated her and what that relationship was like. And that's also, I think, why it's so enjoyable to watch, right? We know that Christine was sad and now we're seeing her happy so I just thought that moment was really sweet with Truly. Now of course you can't talk about a wedding without talking about what everyone wore and that was what I thought was sort of interesting you know Christine has a lot of kids David has eight kids there's just a lot of family there so there wasn't one dress for all of you know all of the daughters to wear or anything like that there was just a color scheme and it worked really well. During this, though, when they're showing everyone, we do get to see Janelle and Savannah, and I thought they looked gorgeous. I thought Janelle looked so pretty. I liked the way her makeup was done. You know, 
just beautiful. Everyone was beautiful. It was a beautiful day. There's not really a whole lot to say about it other than it was it was a lovely wedding. Um, there is this part where they go to kiss and David pops his back leg up. You know, my thing about this was <laughs> when I was watching it, all I kept thinking was this aligns with who Christine is. Like David doing this is something that Christine would think was funny this is that's like this is a good match to me him being a little bit quirky we know christine is a little quirky i think this is a good match so yeah that's it that's what i have to that's what i think about the wedding you guys can let me know in the comments what you thought about the ceremony so the first 12 minutes focus on the ceremony and then it shifts over to cody and robin they are either out at coyote pass or out at robin's house i don't know it doesn't really matter where they're at they're doing some yard work they're outside Looks like they're cutting some branches or trees. Whatever, not really the point. <laughs> they're outside and they're sitting there talking. And I think Cody handled this all really well. And I know that every time I stick up for Cody, it's not even that I'm really sticking up for him, but every time I give Cody even the smallest amount of credit, someone's gonna come through in the comments and tell me how wrong I am, but I'm gonna do it anyway. I think Cody handled this well. I just want you guys to think back to like him stomping around with his face all red and yelling about the knife and the kidneys and flipping out about the kids. And the last few seasons, we have saw Cody Brown be his absolute worst. At least that's my opinion. I think he handled this episode and talking about Christine and David really well. I guess he didn't handle the episode well, but he handled the topic well. He actually says that, you know, it's none, he says it's none of my business that they're getting married. The only part of it that is my business is the kids. And most of the kids are old enough that they're going to be just fine. And he's right. Truly is the only one that's really a child in the house. And I think she's old enough that if something was wrong, she could express that to someone. And I think, I don't think she would do that necessarily with Cody. I don't think her and Cody have that relationship, but I think if something was wrong, she could talk to Isabel or Gwendolyn or Aspen. I think truly is old enough to say if there's a problem. I, again, I don't think it would be to Cody, but I don't think he has a lot to worry about in that sense. I think he needs to worry more about working on his own relationship with his kids. The only part of Cody talking about Christine and David's wedding that bothered me was this. And I'm just going to keep talking until those cameras leave. Here, give me a kiss. Mm. So, yeah, Robin kissed Cody on camera and we all had to see it. I just, I'm already missing the days when there were multiple wives so that he couldn't, you know, they couldn't be affectionate. I'm, <laughs> I'm really hoping that for some reason they don't continue kissing on camera. I just don't want to see it, you guys. And I can, I consider myself a person that's mature. I'm an adult. I know people kiss. I just don't want to see them kiss. So yeah, we need to think of a way that they have to stop being affectionate on camera because I feel like now they're going to overdo it and Robin's going to annoy the crap out of me. But aside from that, I thought Cody did pretty darn well. They also show a clip of Mary. She says she's really happy for Christine and that Christine deserves happiness. She does say that she's at a place right now where she's happy with her own life, but hopes one day that she finds love as well. During this part of the show, they also do family photos and we're just reminded of how big this family really is because they have everyone in alliance. They've all David's children, all Christine's kids. They have Janelle in there. It is just huge. They have a really big family, but again, it was a gorgeous day. Everyone looks so nice. It's going to be a really good photo for them to have with them all together. And as this is happening and they're doing the photos, they're also having confessionals with the Brown kids. And there's a point where Madison is there and she talks about how David's kids are trying to get to know the Brown kids and how when they're sitting there, they're all, you know, including each other in conversations. And, you know, it sounds like they're all just really wanting to get to know each other, which is great. And, but they also talk about polygamy, you know, and they have Aspen and Isabel and, and each one of them talking about how they feel about polygamy now. And the one I thought was sort of interesting was McKelty. She says that growing up, she feels like she was blessed. She had tons of siblings and tons of moms, and it was really wonderful for her and her brothers and sisters. But outside of that, she doesn't really think polygamy works because it didn't work well for her dad or her moms. They weren't getting what they deserved. So she just doesn't feel like polygamy works. And I'm going to put in a clip of her talking about that here. 
deserve and I know what my moms and my dad also deserve. And I don't think polygamy is what anybody deserves. I just wanted to throw that in there because so often when we're talking about McKelty, it's because she's saying or doing something that doesn't really match up with what viewers think or what viewers like to hear, myself included sometimes. Like there are times I've brought up things McKelty has said because I didn't like them or didn't think it made sense. But in this situation, I felt like McKelty was really expressing her experience with polygamy and what she thought about it very clearly. And I think she was also expressing what many of the other siblings were saying. You know, they thought they had a wonderful childhood. They had a big family, tons of siblings, tons of moms. But then when you get older and look at it, it just wasn't what they thought it was. So as this show is going on, they're not just talking to the kids about polygamy and the wedding. They also have Janelle do some confessionals and they there's like some voiceovers of her. And there is a voiceover where she is talking about how she can see David and Christine sitting on their front porch in rocking chairs watching their kids and grandkids. And I couldn't help but wonder if that was sort of a dig at Robin and the number of times Robin's talked about sitting on a front porch. You know, Janelle can see Christine and David on a front porch. She doesn't need to see Robin sitting there with them. And maybe she didn't even realize that she was saying that. And, you know, it didn't cross her mind that Robin said it. But I don't know because it's hard for me to imagine that. The whole front porch thing is such a part of the show because of Robin. It's hard for me to imagine that Janelle doesn't or didn't realize when she said it that she was sort of referencing the thing that Robin talks about the most. Yeah, let me know if you guys caught it and what you thought. So we get to the part where they're at the reception and it's time to give speeches. Aspen, which of course is Christine's daughter, gives a speech. And then Katie, which is David's daughter, gives a speech as well. I really thought it was cute. She said she felt like she manifested this because she found out that Christine Brown was single, ran and told her husband and basically said, Christine Brown would be perfect for my dad. So she felt like she manifested this all happening. And it was just really cute the way she told the story. I sort of hope we see more of David's kids on this show. Um, There's also a speech from Evelyn, which is David's mom. And then Christine's mom, Annie, gives a speech. And that is the one that's like the tearjerker. I cried. I'm telling you, I wish I could just put the whole thing in here. But I know I know I'll get a copyright claim if I do. But basically, she says Christine is a warrior and she is a princess and she protects people and defends people. And she has made all of this happen. And like I was crying and everyone was crying. David had tears in his eyes. Christine does. I bet some of you did at home as well. Yeah, I just thought it was such a beautiful speech. And she said so many wonderful things about Christine. Yeah, so let me know what you guys thought of those in the comments. Uh, Do you guys think we should see more David's kids? Should they have a spinoff? What do you think? Let me know down below. So as the show continues on, we just see more of the wedding reception. We see them celebrating, eating, cutting the cake, and dancing. There are some comments, of course, from the Brown family during confessionals and some voiceovers as well. There is a part where Janelle talks about how Christine and David are very affectionate and she feels like this is healing some of the damage that Cody had caused all those years because of all those things he said about her. And, you know, Janelle points out it was awful. He shouldn't have been talking about his wife like that, the mother of his children like that. You know, Cody said terrible, hurtful things and Janelle feels like David is healing some of those pains that Christine has had. There's also a part of this where Mary talks about how Christine deserves this happiness after all of the things that Cody was out there saying about her and about the other wives as well. I think it's good to see Christine get happiness and I'm going to be interested in seeing what happens with Mary. I don't think Mary wants to stay single. She says that. She says she wants, you know, she hopes that happens for herself, but I think she'll be next. I think Janelle is taking a little bit more time, but I'm looking forward to seeing them all find happiness. Um, There's a lot of dancing. We know the Brown family loves to dance. We've seen Cody dance more than a few times on this show. Now, there is a part of this where Cody says this is the part where he feels left out because he wants to be there dancing with the family. Um, As it continues on, it's just a normal wedding reception. Um, There's a part of this where there's a confessional and Christine talks about how this wedding experience is so different from the one with Cody, you know, 
she didn't get to have a big celebration and really celebrate the marriage because being a plural wife and being number three, it just was kind of a quiet, private thing. So this is what she always wanted. Now, before I end this, I do want to put in a few clips of the kids talking that I just thought was these moments were really sweet and I enjoyed getting to see more of the brown kids during this episode. So here's the first clip. She's got a positive feedback loop that just, mm -hmm. we're having fun, you're having fun, I'm having fun, we're just gonna keep having more yeah. fun. So I just wanted to put that in there. We don't see Hunter a lot on the show and I really enjoyed getting to see him in this episode and in the last one. But I think that he said what many of us think about Christine. She wants to be happy, but she also seems to always want happiness for other people, which is one of the things that makes her so likable. I also wanna put in a clip here of Gabriel talking, and he's talking about this wedding and about the Brown family. First time in a long time, it felt like the real Brown family was back. So that's Gabriel saying it feels like the Brown family is back. And here, really, Christine is marrying somebody else. But I think what he's referring to is actually the feeling that there's a family there and that they want to be there and that they love each other and they want to spend time together and are looking forward to it. He also says that this feels wholesome and complete. And I just don't think that's something they're going to get with Cody and Robin right now. But I am so happy that Christine is getting what she deserves. And I'm so happy that the kids seem so much happier, right? Let me know in the comments what you guys thought about this episode and the last one. What was your favorite part? Yeah, let me know down below. And if you haven't already, go ahead and click like and subscribe.